I'm like, are you mad? That thing. You guys, if you give me 400 k, I'm going to give you four million naira. Who they carry knife? Who they carry knife? The next thing, I removed my shoe and I was running after this boy. You are threatening me in Uyo like I grew up in Uyo. You think I you leave it so they will not hit you? You guys, I'm so exposed up here. Then keep this energy. Oh. Like, <laughs> I am a very peaceful person. my loves welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time seeing this face don't make it your last stick around i have fashion related video lifestyle everything you want you'll find it on my channel so please click the subscription button turn on your post notification so that whenever i post a new video you'll be notified you guys today I'm gonna give you guys a story time like I am here for the stories and since I cannot drink alcohol now we're gonna be doing this fiber life that my friend got me so cheers <laughs> so I have this friend and for the purpose of this video we're gonna call him Tim Am I supposed to say an ex-friend? Okay, yes, an ex-friend. And we're calling him Tim. I've known Tim since in high school. Even though we did not go to the same high school, Tim used to attend summer lessons in my school. And most of his friends in his school were friends in my nursery school, like we're my friends in nursery school. And then he made friends in high school. And he made friends in my school too. And I was one of those friends because we had mutual friends. And, um we're just chilling we're like a group of four two girls two guys which made up of two girls from oh a girl and a guy from my nursery school and then tim and i we used to like hang out and all of that you know we just finished secondary school now so there was really not a lot to do just putting in efforts to get into university and all of that fast forward to university tim moved out of the country to pursue his studies and all of that while three of us stayed back trying to hustle our way into the university and all of that communications was not flowing like that you know everybody's chasing their dreams and all of that so that wasn't a problem but we spoke when we spoke and that was good so tim um has been in this um country for years like a very long time and i think at a point while i was talking to tim i realized he had dropped out of school which i actually thought it was oh life happens you know i cannot come and start blaming you for the choices you're making with your lives you know life has happened life has happened so in the course of our communication while tim was still abroad tim would be telling me oh he's learning something he's learning something he cannot go into fraud he's actually learning something that is better than fraud something that will give him money tim never for one day told me what he was learning like tim did not tell me what he was learning he was just always learning something that is better than fraud and will bring in a lot of money and i'm like my friend don't forget me when you have money or come back so that we can enjoy tim was like oh i'm gonna come back and tim had made promises to come back and all of that and by now i am not really talking to the guy from high school like you know the bond was not really there anymore but the girl was there and she didn't really really know a lot about what was going on fast forward the country team was had issues and tim had to come back to nigeria you know the country yeah that was last year so when tim came back to nigeria it was in a rush and all of that tim told me he had to come back without his stuffs. there were serious issues in the country and all of that and you will not expect somebody who is coming back from such place to come back loaded now i mean you have to understand that this person is running away from war this person is running away from something so however they come back right tim came back and went back home i stay in lagos Tim went back home and the communication was okay because, oh, now you're in Nigeria, you're trying to get yourself together and all of that. Communication was okay. Tim would give me gist of how his day went. Tim would tell me how, oh, um, I tried to buy this. Oh, I did this. Oh, I did that. And I did not suspect that anything was going wrong in Tim's life. 
The only thing I think was wrong would be that, oh, the country he used to stay in had issues. He had to come back to Nigeria to get himself together, to go back to another country. That was the only thing I think of. Not that he had personal issues and all of that. I didn't think he had like, no, we, we all have personal issues, but I didn't think he had serious personal issues that would affect somebody else. So back in November or before November last year, Tim was telling me how he, oh, how he bought a land, he got some, he traded some money. Oh, he finally told me he was into trading, crypto and all of that. I remember telling him that, oh, my cousin does this type of thing too. And I've been so scared to give this money, like the money I have to my cousin to trade because I didn't want issues. I didn't want you to take the money and then when it's time to return the money, I won't see it. Do you get? And Tim was just laughing that, oh, my cousin doesn't know how to trade then. He's been trading for seven years and all of that. So one day, I think Tim spoke to me and was like, oh, I did this, I did that. I'm like, okay, if I give you a certain amount of money, how much can you pull out for me in a certain period of time? And Tim just gave me instances. I'm like, okay, if I give you 100K now, how much can you pull out for me? And Tim said, oh, if you give me 100K, um, I can give in four months, I can give you in four months, I'll be five months, I can give you 500K. No, I cannot go more than 500K because I wouldn't want to make promises I cannot keep in like five months or four months time but you have to give me the money this year because january is always slow trade or whatever and i'm like i don't like to do things like this because i don't want to have issues with anybody regarding money and i was in such a place where i didn't want problem i just want peace okay you guys tim convinced me i'm like okay how does it work he said oh if you give me 100k we do not trade the whole we do not put the whole 100k into trading immediately we remove like 15k and trade it and then see how far it can go if the 15k fails i mean the next day we can do like 10k something something will always give you get something will always make sense i'm like okay that's good so in november before my birthday last year i sent tim hundred thousand i'm like okay so by january i'm supposed to like get money from you like the 500 k he's like okay no problem i think we spoke after that and i was like okay we can actually push it to february i don't know what conversation we had but i was like okay we can actually push it to february i know i said that and everything was going well at a point tim told me in november that he had raised up to 250,000 naira from the 100k I gave him. And I'm like, I'm like, I would have just told him, give me the 250k. But I'm like, okay, let me just allow him so that everything can complete 500k. And he jokingly even said, ah, check up on me or every day so that you know how your money is doing. I'm like, okay. <sighs> you guys, before my birthday, I decided to either get a phone or buy something else so I, I spoke to tim about it. i'm like what do you think i want to get a phone or i want to add up this money and buy something else tim was like okay so why don't you give me the money you want to use um you won't find the other thing for that amount yes that's what he said you won't find the other thing for that amount and just using this money to get a phone or putting it inside the bank it's not going to yield you anything so if you do not want to spend the money you can give it to me to invest if you give me 400k, I'm going to give you 4 million naira. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, God. You guys, I'm like, no, 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 no. See, one thing about me, I'm not a greedy person. Like, <laughs> there's a way you go and I'm like, oh, no, 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 we're doing too much. We're doing too much at this point. So, Tim was like, if you give me 400k to trade, I'm going to give you 4 million. I'm like, no. Let me get the 500k you have promised already you have told me i'm gonna get first then i'll know what to do i don't even see the 400k 4 million coming out of please and we let that slide i went home i went back home first week of december because i needed to do my passport and all of that i saw tim see you guys i'm not saying um, just to impress you and all of that too. But I mean, you are going out to see your friends that you have not seen in like seven, eight years. I think, I think there should be some level of decency. There should be some level of good looking to it so that, because nobody 
knows i don't know how to explain it without looking like oh i'm telling you to pretend i'm not telling you to pretend to be who you are not but i'm still not i'm still telling you do not go like you, you want to go and meet up with your friends you're not dressing as if yours is the your own has finished your own is the worst thing that's happened to you i don't know how to explain that but i think i called most of my friends and these these friends include one friend from nursery school the other friend that was in teams um high school that i met like i met a lot of friends from his school and my friends came and i saw tim i know you are coming back from a place that has serious um conflict but but are you supposed to look like this with all the money i hear you make you tell me you make tim was wearing an outfit that tim used to own when we were in high school like i've seen that outfit before and from the look of look of it you can actually tell that this outfit has seen the test of time it has stood the test of time like it has seen better days to get and i'm not laughing at him all of that but when you give somebody money and then they look funny when you see them it's something that you should think about so i saw him i was wondering yeah you 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 lost to it but the outfit is, is that okay but i'm like okay whatever it is it could be since he said sorry guys I gotta look cute for you guys since he said he came back with no clothes and all of that but i was thinking with the money you make you should be able to like buy one or two clothes for yourself and all of that but that aside a few days after we we're supposed to go to the movies tim was like okay we can go i think i reached out to him and he complained how his laptop is bad he needed to fix it he was so pissed and all of that and after that, I kept checking up on him, like, when are we going to the movies before I go back to Lagos and all of that. And Tim was ignoring me, you guys. Tim wasn't taking my calls anymore. Tim wasn't taking my messages. He would read my messages and ignore me. Like, at a point, I was thinking something is wrong with him. But when I'm like, no, this is not something that is something is, this is not someone that something is wrong with. Because sometimes I'd call, he'd pick up and then end the call and switch off his phone why are you doing like that so i reached out to a mutual friend from my high school that lives close to tim i'm like have you seen tim is he all right and he was like ah he's all right i've even asked him about you he's not giving me positive response he was like, oh she's fine and are you guys okay are you guys good i'm like ah, we're good though i just explained and i didn't want to it was after like after i thought of it over and over again that i'm like okay i have to reach out to somebody because i'm not understanding anything and the guy said he was fine i'm like okay i had to explain the situation to the guy the guy was like ah he doesn't know anything about this and the boy never mentioned i'm like no problem i reached out to him I'm like please what's up if i don't know if you're ignoring me but i know that you are fine you're okay is our plan for January, this is in December, is our plan for January still going to work, the 500k? If it's not going to work, please send the 100k back. This 100k, now, he had promised me that no matter what happened, if the 500k cannot come out, I will get my 100k. Like, it was a promise. So if he had told me, oh, it's a 50-50, your money might come back, your money might not come back, and I'll, like, beat my chest and go to do it regardless is different because you promised me that if i do this if the full money doesn't come if the profit doesn't come my capital will be refunded guys you might hear some noise in the background i'm really sorry there is power outage and right now everybody's gen is turned on including mine because i need to finish this story time with you guys so back to my story so this guy finally reached out to me in january and the message he sent was january 31st and i think he reached out because his friend had reached out to him like oh polycap has called me and she's telling you to sort whatever you guys have you know it just told me january 31st and i didn't message him anymore because i felt okay january 31st is fine this guy didn't even answer me january 31st february first week of february i reached out after sending long messages and i'm screaming and i'm shouting and he says give me another 30 days and in january that was when i realized that oh i have to do surgery initially you guys let's back it up 
this money i wanted to throw it into my rent i'm like okay so if he gives me 500k from this trading thing he, he's doing i can just add up and pay my rent but he did me dirty i had to sort my rent myself and i realized i needed to do surgery i'm like okay see i have surgery to run and i need you to give me that money and i even sent him my results and everything i'm like this is what it is so please whatever it is find a way and sort me the problem here is not that somebody was owing me no it's because you're owing me and your attitude towards this thing is very very bad you are my g you're supposed to like reach out to me and tell me that oh this thing i had going is bad or whatever and we try and see if i can accept what is going on you can tell me oh it's it, you we, we cannot get the money anymore or can you wait till whenever i can get the money or something and see my reaction to it it's not just ghosting me and ignoring me all through like two months this guy told me to give him another 30 days i did and in march he asked for another 30 days told me this one is over i am done after this i'm not doing it again I gave him another 30 days. April came and I reached out to him. You've been asking for 30 days since the beginning of the year. So what's up? And he was apologizing. Oh, I'm so sorry. The things I, I thought would go on was not going on and all of that. And I reached out to another friend of ours. Like it's a whole community of mutual friends. And I'm like, this is what's going on. And I was like, ah, if you had told me, I would have told you not to give the money to Tim. I'm like, why? He said, Tim actually got money from our childhood friend, the friend I know him with, like the group we were, the two girls, two guys group. Tim actually got almost a millionaire from, okay, let's call him, what name are we going to give him now? <laughs> so we're going to call him Mr. C. So Tim actually got money from Mr. C while he was still abroad and told mr c he was gonna trade for mr c actually told mr c oh this thing i'm doing the same way he told me this thing i'm doing is gonna make sense even told mr c to go find a car like go and check cars i'm gonna buy cars this is what i had i'm gonna buy a car i'm gonna buy a car when i come back all oh, my guys are gonna be bawling and all of that and mr c told me he took his savings and gave to Team. Team, after a while, just went mute on Mr. C. Team did not say nothing to Mr. C and he just kept ignoring Mr. C. And at a point, Mr. C said he let go. And I now realized that it wasn't just Mr. C that gave money to Team. Another guy gave money to Team. And not like two other guys gave money to Team. Which one of them actually reached out to me and told me to tell him that time? to respond to his messages and nobody told me that oh this guy is owing me or this guy took money from me nobody told me nothing and i told mr c that see i am going to get my money from tim like, oh do you want to pay evil with evil i'm like yes as long as you have the mind to be evil towards me i think i should have the mind to be evil towards you too like <laughs> you go low we go lower that's how it is right now like nobody should tell me nothing when I heard that Tim had gotten money from Mr. C and had not returned that money till date, I lost hope. Like you guys, I lost hope because Mr. C is very close. They, they were like besties, is very close to Tim or used to be very close to Tim. So if you have the mind to do that to your guy, who am I? Like that was where I was standing. But I was like, no problem, you guys. I literally went on Facebook to look for this guy's family. I haven't gone lie. I went on Facebook. I found his mom. I found his dad. And I sent his dad messages. I think his dad has seen my messages, but he has not responded. I even tried to call his dad on Facebook. But since we are not friends, I don't think he would see my call. But my message is right there in his father's request. Okay. So finally, I got hold of Tim's mom's number. And I reached out to her. And she was sounding like I was dating Tim. That, oh, a man and a woman used to have problems. 
that when she was dating her when she was young and she was dating when she was single and she was in a relationship she used to give her boyfriend money i'm like madam i am not dating your son did he say we are dating i'm telling you that i gave him money and he promised to trade and make profits if it's not possible he'll return the capital to me so i don't get where this energy is coming from and she's like it's almost the same thing here at home i had given him money the dad had given him money the cousin had given him money i'm like whoa <laughs> i am like yay 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 hey i'm in trouble because if you are like that at home what am I going to use to hold you? But I called him. I'm like, see, I don't care what you got going on at home. Find my money and give it to me. Because at this point, I realized that friendship is not working between us anymore. Give me my money. He just kept dragging, 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 dragging. One fateful day, his mom's number kept calling me. Kept calling. Sometimes the number will be hidden. Sometimes it will show. Just kept calling. And at a point I picked up, I refused to pick the whole day. At some point I picked up and it was the younger sister who spoke. So I ended the call because I don't have any business with this little girl, obviously. And the number just kept calling till evening. Finally picked up. I'm like, team sister, what is the problem? Why are you calling my phone like this? Is your brother there? And she's like, no, my brother is not here. And all of that. I'm like, okay, give me your father's number. And she's like, no, auntie, no. When my when my mommy comes back, I'm going to tell her so that you can reach out to my mommy and then you can get my daddy's number from there. Auntie, please, what happened? I'm like, don't worry. Since you don't know what's going on, you say your brother is not there. Don't worry. So the next day, I think I spoke to one of our friends and the guy said he was going to talk to him. The guy spoke to him and Tim was like, okay, he needs to make a call. Steps out and calls me. And Tim is threatening me. The next time you call any of my family member, you called my sister and then you are you are threatening that little girl. The next time you call any member of my family, Polycarp, that army you said you were going to bring, you go bring and call. Bro, you are owing me and you are telling me the army I want to bring, I will bring it and come to your house. Are you alright? Like, are you, are you alright? Even with all these things Tim is saying, I'm still very calm because I want to know if he has my money. You know, I will just chill and collect my money and go because I am a very peaceful person. I'm like, so how far? When am I collecting the money? The next thing he said, oh, my polycarp, this right now, eh, I don't know when you're going to collect that money. Do you understand? I'm just letting you know that the next time you call any member of my family, you reach out to anybody again. That problem you're looking for, you will see it. I lost it. I'm like, are you mad? Like, is something wrong with you? You are threatening me in Uyo. Like, I grew up in Uyo. You are threatening me. Like, I was screaming on top of my voice. Like, are you alright? Like, you, you get, you get, you get. You are like coming back and you are threatening me. I'm like, no problem. Keep this energy. Like, keep this this energy that you have with me now. Keep it till I come because I will come and I'm not even capping, I will come. And the next thing, the boy is apologizing. Um, Polycap is not like that. Uh, you know, it's just annoying, it's just crazy. I'm like, your sis was disturbing my life since morning. He's like, your my sister did not explain it to me. I didn't understand. I said, so you had to come, you are owing me, and you're calling me to shout. I said, No problem. So the boy now called me, and I think I, at the point I didn't talk to him anymore. I kept asking our mutual friend to tell me his house because I didn't really know his house. The guy was just acting up, refused to tell me the address and all of that. I'm like, okay, it's not hard. We have a lot of mutual friends, so it's not hard. I quietly got into your first week of July. I didn't post nothing on social media in case it was monitoring me. I didn't do nothing. I just quietly got into you because I had plans to do my surgery and also collect my money. I reached out to a few friends. I'm like, see... I need why I didn't reach out to these people before the people that took me to his house was because I didn't just want this story to get out like I didn't want people to know that this boy has messed up like this and all of that because regardless of whatever is going on he's my friend you get but then it has happened it has happened and I have to yes I hope my hair is not messy 
and I have to do what needs to be done. I reached out to a few people the night I got into you and I'm like, see, I need to get to this guy's house. You know somebody that knows somebody. I'm like, okay. The next morning, I told my brother about it. The next morning, my brother and the guy went down and we found his house. And the person who directed me to his house actually called our friend that refused to tell me where he's living. And I tried to find him. The next thing I'm seeing him coming down, he's lost so much weight and he was so shocked to see me. I'm like, yeah, I like that fear. I like to see it. You guys, that's when I realized that people look at your emotions and pray on it because I really, really prayed on it. That fear, that fear he had, that was one, that was the thing I was looking for. He was so shocked and he was like, we should come inside the house. We got into the compound. He was like, we should, he just walked past my elder brother. And my brother was like, ah, is that the guy? We're like, yeah. He didn't even look like the person that would owe me money, you guys. And he went back to the backyard. And I was thinking he was going to run. The next thing, I removed my shoe and I was running after this boy. You guys. I was running after this boy like, nigga, if you're going to run, I'm going to fight. I'm going to run with you. I'm like, I'm going to pursue you. I don't care. And I realized he was going inside to open the door and he was telling us to come inside his parlor. We're like, no. We are not coming inside your parlor. What was happening and everything? My brother now spoke to him. He spoke to my brother. He was like, okay, that he had promised me the 17th of July. The money was going to come. I was like, uh-uh, Polycap, I told you 17th and you still brought people to our house. I'm like, I came to see your father. I didn't even come to see you. Me, I came to see your dad and your mom is not even around. We left because he had made promises of giving me the money on the 17th. I went back home. The next thing I heard, his mom came. His mom was screaming that I brought thugs to his house. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, ma. No problem. I think one time the mom and I had an altercation and she was screaming at me. And I was screaming at her because who are you? You raised that son and you want to scream at me with the type of child you raised? Nah. I'm sorry, but no. After that, I had surgery. The next day, after my surgery, the day after my surgery, when I'm still trying to recover and everything, this boy calls me. Oh, polycap. And he said, Oh, my polycap. Oh, my polycap. And that 17th is not going to be possible anymore. The man I was expecting to give me money, uh, that he's supposed to rent our house, he's supposed to give me money. The man is not answering me. He said, End of the month and all of that. I'm like, No problem. Because I know what's my mind. Even if I tell you no problem today and I realize that there is problem, I will still mess things up tomorrow. This is what it is. I'm like, no problem. I left it there because my sibling was like, oh, you don't have to talk too much. You just finished having surgery yesterday night and all of that. After, I think I stayed in the hospital for one week and we went back to my auntie's house. When we went back to my auntie's house, I called this boy. I didn't know his phone was, his SIM was in his mother's phone. I just kept calling and calling and calling. And at a point, the mom picked. I'm like, give the phone to your son. I need to talk to your son. He has to give me my money. Because I need to do surgery. I didn't, I didn't tell them I had done the surgery. So I'm like, give the phone to your son. And she's like, ah, the boy is not even around. And I, I thought she was lying. And she now called me. She was like, oh, polycap. I'm stepping into this, the mom now, I'm stepping into this case right now and I'm going to give you the 100k by the end of the month. I don't know if you can wait. And this is me that has waited for every end of the month since January. And I'm like, madam, I cannot wait again. And we just went back and forth, back and forth. At the point, my auntie had to talk to the lady. We're like, ah, why are you sounding like this? Son is owing somebody and this is how you sound. Oh yeah, give the phone to the boy. Like, the boy is not even at home. And I really needed to collect this money before I leave with you because I didn't want to hear stories anymore. At a point, I called her. I'm like, okay, madam, let's do like this. Give me 50K. It is not your fault that this is happening. So give me 50K and I'll let go 50K. And she's like, whatever you want. I'm like, okay, can I bring, get a loan for me. Just give me this money. Let me leave you guys alone. I'm tired at this point. And she's like, hey, if you bring the person, I'll just tell the person with word of mouth. I'm not signing anything. And she just kept pissing me off. I told my cousin, are you ready to follow me to this people's house? My cousin said yes. I asked my auntie, will you follow me to this people's house? My auntie was like, yes, let's go. You guys, this is two weeks after my surgery that I'm supposed to be sleeping and resting. The next day we got into the car. I didn't even tell him I was coming. I didn't tell nobody I was coming. I just used my memory from visiting his house the last time. And we got there very early in the morning because we wanted to miss his father. We knocked, I think my auntie stepped out, knocked on the gate, and this boy, Tim, comes up, peeps, 
and my auntie was like oh my name is mrs zuma can you open the gate i want to see your mom i want to see your dad and he's like ah who are you she's like ah, open your gates now i want to see your mom and he goes inside and calls his mom yes yeah, you know but no child of mine in future jesus please is going to subject me to such ridicule i mean you know you know that space they have between gates the fence and the gates that small space the mom was peeping through that small space the sisters everybody was just why are you doing that to yourself and the mom refused to open the gate she was just peeping at a point when i looked it was the sister the little sister so i'm like ah, think sister come and open the gate why are you people behaving like this and she was trying to hide the next thing the mom opens this small space and my aunt is trying to talk to her i couldn't even recognize the mom anymore my aunt was trying to talk to her my aunt was like okay open the gate let's come inside and talk and she's like no she's not opening the gate my aunt my aunt is like okay where's your husband i want to talk to your husband she's like no my husband is not around my auntie that <laughs> is just like me <laughs> i'm like huh my auntie was like ah i'm going to hit this gate everybody will come out here and the woman dared my auntie i was like hit the gate now the next thing my auntie hits the gate <laughs> Next thing, Tim is coming out with stone. I don't know if he wanted to hit my auntie. I don't know if he wanted to hit the, the car. But he was just, I held him. Auntie screaming. You see, can't leave it so they will not hit you. You guys, I'm two weeks post up here. I'm holding on to this boy because this is my money. I just looked at him and I, I couldn't scream like I wanted to scream because, man, this is my money and you're trying to do me dirty. Are you all right? And I'm holding on to this boy. And my auntie's problem is the sick at living. So he doesn't hit you. So nobody will hit you. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I must collect my money. And everybody's holding him. The next thing Tim says to some guys that came outside. Says, guy, go call boys for me. <laughs> the next thing, my cousin. Okay, we went, me, my cousin, and my cousin's friend. My cousin's friend. These cousins of mine. They're my little cousins, so... <laughs> My, little, my cousin's friend told my cousin, see, go and bring that knife. In my head, I'm like, Jesus Christ, which knife? You guys, I had the options of carrying guys who could cause trouble to that house. But I was just telling myself, I don't want things to get out of hand because, you know, these people will not understand. The people I might carry, they will not understand that we have to be calm and just collect this money. They might go to scatter things and beat people up and we don't like that. So the next thing I heard was, go and bring that knife. I'm like, ah, which knife? So the next my cousin got into the car, brings out something and was holding it. And, the, and Tim here is screaming, Nami, they carry knife for. Nami, they carry knife for. Guys, in my head, I'm like, who they carry knife? Who they carry knife? The next thing, <laughs> the next thing I'm looking at my little cousin's hand. My, my cousin is not so little, he's like 24. I'm looking at his hand and he's holding a small knife. I'm like, oh God, please don't let these people hit anybody. Yo, Lisa. And my cousin is like, don't worry, go and bring your boys. Next thing this boy tries, Tim tries to escape and we left him. The next thing Tim enters the road and we thought Tim was running. Normal me would have run after Tim. On oh God. Normal me would have run after Tim, but I wasn't feeling so well. I was still very sore from my surgery and we're just chilling and I'm screaming already. And the mom was telling me that, hey, you gave your boyfriend money. Your money has gone. Ooh, tak, I come full tak, I call ooh, tak. Like this woman was ridiculing me. Because I gave my man money. My man has eaten my money. My money has gone. You guys see, nobody should stress me in this life. I know send your papa. I am turning to him like, eh. You sent your son to school. He came back with nothing. And it, it, you know, I did not even know that I am capable of doing that thing. Women do that. You guys, I did it. I did it that day to that woman. I really did that woman. That's it. After a while, we spoke. The boy, was, the boy went. Tim went. Came back with no boys. And my little cousin is telling him, where are your boys? Where are the boys? What you been talking to? Go bring. Go call those boys. Come. And before then, I have started calling my older brother. Because if you want to do anyhow, you'll see anyhow. Like, everything was just crazy. Everybody had calmed down. And I was trying to talk to him. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I was like, hey, Polycarp, you can't even try to talk to me anymore. Uh, you have destroyed my life. The small life I had left, you have destroyed it. I don't give a fuck, bro. 
The next thing this guy comes and tells me, I told you I was going to give you your money on the 30th. You refuse to wait till the 30th. You have come to my house. Let me call police. I said, call. God, the mother now said, no, 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 don't call the police. But I told the mother, you wanted to call police. Oh, you want us to be the one to call police so that when we take him to the station, police will not ask us, how much are you willing to pay? Will not be saying, we'll pay 1, 1K. The money will finish. You guys, my hair is in a mess right now. But then, when the situation had calmed down a bit, we realized that Tim's mom is actually a goddaughter to my uncle because Tim is from my local government area. So, <laughs> I went to where Tim was. I'm like, oh yeah, come out. Your mom has agreed to give me the 50k I asked for. I'll let go the other 50. And Tim was like, no, 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 Polycap, I'm going to give you this money. I don't care how long it takes. I'm like, I don't want it anymore because at this point, I'm thinking there'll be something wrong with you. Like something serious is actually wrong with you. And he says, no, 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 no. I'm going to give you this money. You just have to promise me that whenever I want to give you this money, you're going to call it. I'm like, okay, fine. Just come. Let's see your mom. Anything you, my mom is saying to you guys, that's my, that's between my mom and you. Just get going so we've talked we've agreed and we are living and tim really had a problem with my little cousin because it was my cousin who was getting out the knife and everything and he knows my cousin and my cousin was his junior student back in high school so tim is really really upset that why are you small boy doing this to me you get <laughs> Ah, he's gingering. Oh, is it this guy that you are acting like this? Haven't you seen we have it packed? And meanwhile, his dad is inside. Like, I think the dad has had enough of all this madness that the man refused to step outside. Like, he refused to be involved. And he's making noise with my cousin. Oh, the next thing Tim says, are you going to give me? Are you going to? Okay, let me speak in. <laughs> let me speak in pigeon. He said, you will give me address, make I come alone. You will give me address, I will come alone. I'm like, this boy, you like problem too because if you want to come alone now we are going to beat you and this money will not come out but we left i didn't reach out to him. okay before we left i reached out to him i'm like see regardless i have empathy i pray that whatever you're doing with yourself whatever is going on with you you can sort it and he's like yeah Holy crap, you cannot pray for me after coming to my house to make trouble you cannot pray for me i tell him see i will pray for you and if I have to come back to your house tomorrow and cause trouble again, I will cause it. The fact that I have empathy doesn't mean you can run on me, no. I have empathy, but I can scatter everywhere immediately because human beings do not like good people. So, we left. I didn't reach out to him again. He didn't reach out to me. And we just chilled. As at um, the end of August, the mom called and was like, oh, she wants to send me the money. I'm like, okay, calm down. I reached out to my auntie. My auntie's like, no, we must collect the 100K from that lady. So my aunt insisted that she pays the 100K. And I'm like, see, I just want this thing to be over and I'm done with everything. She can just pay the 50K and we're good. So I called this lady. I'm like, let me send you my account number. You send the 50K to me. I'm not in Aquaibum. And she's like, no, uh, I wanted to ask for your permission. I have the 50K, but I just have an issue that I need to like spend 10K. And I want to find out if I can use the 10K, then I can give it to you next week. Like I can send you 40K and send you the 10K next week. I'm like, madam, my aunt says you should pay 100K. And I'm asking you to give me 50K. Now you even want to remove 10K from the 50K. Do you want her to reach out to my uncle? Do you want her to come to your house? And she's like, no, 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 don't worry. Just send me your account number. And I sent her my account number and she sent the 50K. I went on all my social media platforms that I have Tim on and blocked Tim everywhere. Like I blocked Tim because I want to have peace. Like I think that was an eye opener for me because you you really have to especially when it comes to money i think you should see sometimes seeing is not believing when you see things most of the things you see are not things you should believe but in tim's case i think if i had seen tim before giving him that money i would have understood that things were not going right with tim and wouldn't have given my money to him but from everything tim was telling me i realized that tim was lying like tim was lying through his teeth until today, Tim doesn't even have the money to give me that he was making. I was like, oh, Polycap, I'm going to give you the money and all of that. You know, my plan was that if I cannot reach out, if I cannot get my money, I was going to go to their church. And just when they have their, their women's fellowship, I will stand in front of the church and tell everybody how the mom is supporting the boy and the boy has done me dirt. Like, I had that plan. 
You guys, I wasn't even going to the police. No, I don't do that. I had that plan. And I told my auntie, I was not going to give up without a fight. Like, we're going to fight through this thing. I'm going to collect something from this boy. I'm just grateful I got it and this face is over because my trust issues just went over the roof. Like, it is so hard to trust people, especially when it comes to money. Even if it's, I said, I told somebody that even if it is 20 naira, listen, I'm not doing it. That um, we invest, if it's not legit investment, I'm not putting my money. No, no. <laughs> because yo, you guys, I've been there, done that, not doing that anymore. So yeah, that's my story time, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I feel okay to come out here and be telling you guys all the things that nature and life and everybody has been doing to me because I totally enjoyed telling you guys this one. Please subscribe if you haven't and come say hi in the comment section. Have you ever had somebody do you dirty before? If you were in my shoes, what would you have done? Tell me. Would you have done things differently? Would you have left the money or you think what I did was good or you would have done worse? Let me know in the comment section, horns. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to be my bestie. Bye, guys.